right at the toe. And a root. Ooh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a ring. It's a freaking big old ring. Good morning, guys. I am back to metal detecting the beach early this morning. Gonna hit that low tide or a couple hours before the low tide. Okay, guys, I got my first good target in right here. <clears throat> I'm actually right next to the volleyball nets. Right here. Sounds just like a pool time. I'm hoping it's a nickel. Oh, I hear it clacking. And that's exactly what it is. Sweet! First coin is a nickel. Maybe another bottle cap. Oh, we got another solid 13. Out in the scoop. Ooh, I hear it clacking. Oh, yeah. Sweet. We got a nickel and a rock. All right. Actually, it looked like a piece of charcoal, maybe. I hear voices. I don't see anybody. Got another 13 right here. Staying pretty strong. And in the scoop. Ah. Little tab. Okay. All right. I'm about ready to finish up this volleyball area. I don't know how well this is going to show up, but that is a fish supply. So if you're a fisherman, you go over there and, you know, buy your bait fish. So that's what that is, the bait fish barge. Right on the other side of that seawall is the wedge. And somewhere over here, I heard maybe another nickel or a pool tab. And I always come up in this area. Oh, you can see the splashing over at the wedge. Oh yeah, going right over the top. Perfect. Might have to drive over there. Because <sighs> the wet here was a little bit quiet. It's not like... It's not, not like I was going to detect the wet over at the wedge, because that's just deadly. But uh, when there's big waves at the wedge, there's a lot of people at the wedge, and they drop a lot of stuff. All right, let's get this pool tab, Jim. I think it's in the scoop. I heard something clank already. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? My third nickel of the day. It's the only coins I got, guys. There's three nickels so far. That's incredible. Guys, I'm having a hard time believing this. I got another perfect 12, 13 right here. That's another nickel. Oh my goodness, seriously. I'm taking pull tab. I hear a clank, no way. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, that's more realistic. I had a grunty chirpy and I took a few scoops just to check it out. It sounded really good. Now, it, now it's a 24, 25 out of the hole. And sweet, that is a clean, clean dime. I've been killing the clean dimes lately. The other day at Laguna, it's like, went to Gold Beach where everything's normally grimy. Everything brand new. Working my way back to the water's edge. I got another target right here. Thinking it's a pool tab, but we'll take a look. Solid 13, jumps to 14, sometimes 12. Out. What is that, bottle cap? Oh no. What the hell is that thing? Heck that, what the heck is that thing? Ooh, I got something that looks goldy. Tiny. Huh. I'm gonna have to get some specs on this one. Okay, I'll let you guys look around here. It looks goldy. It's, uh, you know, I think it's a very small St. Christopher Protects pendant. And 
for whatever reason, I cannot get my eyes to focus, even with the magnifying glass. So I haven't been out in the wet very long. I, you know, I walked out here and dug, I just dug a little goldy piece right over here. One of the things I noticed is it's quiet, but there's a ton more sand been built up on this back level. And what usually has like several little micro scallops has one big one. So uh, that's just my target spot. I'm gonna walk straight over there and I'm gonna detect that area nice and slow. I wanna point something out. Probably one of the reasons that uh, I'm not having much success in the wet is this is mainly a west coast issue, but I will show you. See, notice how the direction of the pullback of the wave, right? You see the direction it's going? It's coming in, and then it's going to my left, okay? What I needed to do is go to the right. So it's coming in from the north, and then it's dropping to the left. And physics, the laws of physics, I think it's called Ekman's process or Ek Ek Ekman's spiral, something like that, would say on the west coast, east coast, this is perfect, all right? West coast, I needed to turn this way. I need to come from the south, all right, and continue to drop northern, right? Then, at a 45 degree angle, my deposits get left. When I have these northern swells, they extract it. It's hard for me to explain, but that's exactly what's happening here. We're getting extraction and no, nothing put up. All right, guys, I found a little convergence point where they can see the way this is shaped, how everything's going the correct way, the way Jim likes it, but only in this micro pocket. And that's where I talk about looking for the micro pockets. And watch, you had a mixed swell. One that wants to fall this way and one that wants to go this way. And it all extracts that way straight out. I think what we'll do is we'll slow down here and then I'll, I think all the way down is that way with a few high pockets over there. I think I almost had it out. Oh, don't take it away. I think I think I have a dime. I may have my quarter. Eh, if, if it's not in the scoop, it's definitely gone. Oh, those waves are strong there. Oh, sweet. May have another dime. And it sounds more like bottle cap now. Ooh, ooh, ooh! It's a ring. It's a ring. Oh boy! That hole already got filled in. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Let's see what it sounds like now. It's all cleaned up a little bit. It sounds awful. 25. Oh. I think it might be broken. Maybe that's why. Just the solder joint, which is really common on these things. All right. I got a ring. Okay, guys. I was just mesmerized by how beautiful these homes are, but I got a target right here. Grunty with uh, a little chirpy chirp. I think that's gonna be a penny. Now, 
solid 20 out of the hole. I see a nice clean penny. And I still just need a quarter to hit that cycle. And I got a mess load of nickels. A nice, nice, nice loud dime signal right here. I do have a dime already, I need a quarter. <laughs> ah. Maybe a penny. Oh, it's a Canadian. Yeah, I got a Canadian penny. All right. Yeah. I'll take it. That's cool. All right. That wasn't too deep. It's kind of what I'm expecting. Uh, when they're that loud of a signal. Otherwise, they're going to be sounding like iron deep. Oop. Have another penny right here. Now, and there you go. All right. So at least I'm getting some targets over here, even though they're not all that great. That is. An American penny. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, guys, this target started sounding like iron. Then it started chirping like a mid-tone. And out of the hole, I think, is my fifth nickel. It's definitely going to be a nickel, and it is crusty. And this is one of the hardest digs I had with that wave. I wish it'd break just a little bit later. If it if it broke, say four feet later, uh, I'd be raking it in right now. I would be raking it in. I wouldn't be able to leave this area, that's for sure, because that would be spewing the good stuff at me. So guys, I'm here all the way at the other end of the beach, and I got a target right here. I got a big rock right behind me. I don't want to take my eyes off. I think I see a round coin right there. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Sweet. Another dime. I always come over here because people put their stuff here. A lot of people will put their stuff down, go for the walk, come back, grab it. And I could tell this area got washed out a little bit with the high tide. Okay, that rock over there that looks like people would sit on it. And I found a dime right in front of. I got a target right here now. Somewhere right here. 25, maybe another dime. Out. Come on. Here we go. Another dime. All right. I like dimes. See if there's anything else. Probably drop from the same area because that's where it'd be washed down from. Still just zigzagging all over this place looking for a quarter. Trying to find a quarter. So right here I got a nickel maybe. Staying solid 12, 13. Out.
And sweet, another nickel. Wow. It's funny how I keep finding change all the way back here and I've hunted this area. All, every time I come here, I come up here. Okay, they cleaned up this back area over here, so this is a private road entrance. I'm just gonna metal detect this area and I got a dime right here. It is high EMI, it's driving me nuts. I'm still needing a quarter, so I'm hoping there's a quarter here. That sounds like a dime. Out. Oh, uh, what do we got here? That looks like a dime. Yeah, we got a dime. Okay, guys, you can see that, right? Right? I uh, came over here and detected right up against the edge where people put their stuff and that looks like a cell phone. Yep. I wonder, a lot of cameras on there. Looks in great shape. Samsung. All right, thing looks brand freaking new. I think that's just a scratch on the protective cover. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I found some good stuff right here. Because people store their stuff here and then they lose it. <gasps> oh my God, you're kidding me. No way. Ah, uh, it's a junker. It's a ring, though. <laughs> I was just saying, yeah, I have found good stuff, but that is uh, going to be a gold, formerly gold-plated uh, ring. Ring number two. All right. So, yeah, I found better than that over here before. Yeah, it's a bottle cap. Solid 13. Maybe another pool tab. Oh no, we got another nickel. Sweet, my goodness. I, I just need a quarter for the cycle. <laughs> Look at that. It's another 12, 13, guys. All right, come on, be another nickel. Come on, hear the clank. I don't hear the clank. You don't hear the clank either. You know what that is? A bull tab. <gasps> it's a ring. <laughs> it's a ring. It looks awfully goldy. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Ring number three. That is so stupid. Okay. That's going to be a fun one to uh, clean, but I think that's just a... Uh, Another junk ring that's gold plated. Nice and cute. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stick it in with that other thing that looked kind of goldy. I can't believe it. I got another nickel. And I think I got a nickel over there too. So just on the other side of that. Pretty cool. I'm killing it in nickels today. But man, they sound just like pool tabs. I may have another nickel right here. 12, 13. Quiet. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay. This bottle cap sounds good. Barking seal 910. Ah, oh, this EMI, I don't know if you guys could see how much this changes. Look at this. It's just... I gotta step this down even. It's got an 11 sensitivity. Oh, I can hear it better. Right at the toe. And a Ooh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's a ring. It's a freaking big old ring. Let's see. 
Let's see. Put on the full armor of God. Stand firm against the schemes of the devil. Oh. It's heavy though. Any marks? Would that really ring up? Ooh, ooh. I'm thinking stainless just the way it is. Highly polished on the inside. Highly polished. Normally stainless doesn't have that high polished finish. But I do believe that's what this is going to be. Is stainless steel. But we will test it. We will definitely test it. What is that? Ring number four? Seriously? Ring number four. Wow. You got a target right here. What the heck was that? Oh, they're working on that deck. Man. Wow, I had no idea what that sound was. It's the first time I heard it. Anyways, I got a target right here somewhere. Solid 14. Bottle cap. You can see the outline of a bottle cap. Oh my gosh. That is not a bottle cap. Sound like a bottle cap. Huh. It looks... I can see copper showing through here. Uh, I think we got a little junker ring again. Nice little opal and a stone, huh? Shiny. Let's put that in with that other kind of shiny looking goldy type ringy ding ding. What's, how many rings is that? What is that? Um, uh, five seriously five rings oh man i still haven't even got a quarter okay guys it is officially quarter time right here i think i got a quarter oh yeah i'm gonna hit the cycle and five rings i love it Right there. And, oh, I hear the clacking of a quarter. Yeah, sweet. We officially hit the cycle. Yes. Hey guys, I know, it, it, it's stupid, but it's just a game I play. It makes me excited. You know, I play these mental games to keep me excited about metal detecting, you know. Come June is going to be my 38th year. 38th year of hitting these beaches. So I've played a lot of games. Whoop. That doesn't sound too good, but we're digging. Still doesn't sound good. Semi scoop. And. Somewhere. There's a zipper. And a lot of people have asked me, Jim, why don't I use a pinpointer on the beach? As I own pinpointers, I don't use them on the beach because I grew up in a uh, um, in a time to where metal detectorists, beach metal detect, whoa, beach metal detectorists just simply didn't use them, all right? And I would have been ridiculed as a young man if I came to the beach with a pinpointer. That's why I don't use one. And I've learned tips and tricks to where I don't need one. Anyways, I got a target right here. Come on, I'll go for ring number six. How about that? That'd be great. But I'll take that dime. I got another target right here. 
Another nickel, maybe. In. Oh, that doesn't sound like bottle cap. Sweet. Man, how many nickels do I have? Wow, I think I have more nickels than I do rings. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That is hilarious. Whoa. Oh, and I think I just got another quarter. That's why I love the towel line, guys. It takes some work, but you'll find what you're looking for. I potentially, between here and Tower 3, could find a couple more rings. But I got a quarter. And what else we got around here? And I... Whoop. Getting grunts. Grunty, grunty. Not that grunty anymore. There's a penny. Okay. Give me a dime and another foot and I'll hit a cycle with only two steps. Okay. <laughs> I think I got the dime right here. Maybe it's a quarter. Jeez. missing whatever it is all right it's another quarter so I didn't get a dime but I was looking for quarters and now I think I'm up to three Oop. 21 There we go. Water must be nice. Oh. It's a one. And that's what you would think a one would be. I was hoping for a one to be much better than that. Oh yeah, my finds bag is full of trash. It's mainly small little trash items, nothing real big. So you got some pretty good sized surf coming in right now. And on the other side, at the wedge, I see big splashes up over the, the rocks. So we're gonna have to take a look at some stuff over there. But going to the wedge is nowhere near my way home. It's out of the way home. <laughs> I got a bottle cap here that I'm going to dig and hope it's not a bottle cap. But might as well have the camera alive. What is that? What is that? <gasps> it's another ring. Oh, yes! Ring number six. Are you effing kidding me today? That could be gold. Maybe not. Oh no, gold plated. Another plated. Oh, bet. I'm on a, on a roll for some crappy rings. I'd go for a nice big old fat gold ring. It's been a while since I've had a nice big fat gold ring. Oh my goodness. Ring number six. Oop. It's 
Staying strong, whatever it is. Must be a big wad of foil. Why do I keep missing it? Right there, right? Okay, got it. It's a ring. It's another ring. Are you freaking kidding me? Ring number seven. My phone is just being blown up for whatever reason. Okay. Ring number seven. Wow. Who would ever have thought that? See this gentleman here, he uh he hit the wet. He did exactly the same thing I did when I got here. Went down, hit the wet, didn't find anything, moved up to the dry sand. Anyways, they got another bottle cap right here. This one's solid. No grunts. Out, here's a bottle cap right there. Ooh, that could be a nickel. It's a ring. It's a ring. <laughs> oh, are you freaking kidding me? That makes it what, number eight? No. Really? Is it number eight? can't be number eight that's just stupid all right I just found uh, another certain type of product brand new just laying on the right on top next to all this trash right here hadn't been picked up yet anyways you know I, I, I won't make a comment on using it in voting, guys. I guess I... I rubbed a few people the wrong way with that. But you shouldn't use it and then vote. You know. That's all. Alright, guys. I just bought, dug this big old spoon. Alright. And right before it... Hi, Doug. This spoon. <laughs> so, I got some spoons. Let's see what else they got around here. So, I'm almost ready to exit. I came over here to the lifeguard tower, threw some trash away, and I got a high tone somewhere right here. Sounds like a shallow dime to me. In the scoop, I think. Here's something clacking, and it is a dime. Okay. That may be my last coin. We'll see. Okay, guys. I'm calling it a day here. It was fun here, Corona Del Mar. It's always beautiful here. Okay guys, this is the beach we metal detected today, Corona Del Mar, it was fun. Guys, I got eight rings off of this beach today. Eight rings. That is crazy stupid. I'm hoping something's gold. I just don't think so. Man, did it turn out to be a beautiful day. Okay, guys, here's the wrap-up. Once again, I removed a lot of trash off the beach, and I was rewarded with some pretty good stuff. Now, if you look at all those rings and stuff that's right there, what's the most valuable thing? Yeah, you got it right. The phone. The charging port is completely sanded. We'll have to get that cleaned out and find the owner so I can get this charged up. I think it's like brand new guys so it's a, a modern Samsung 
eight rings guys we got eight rings this one is stamped 925 it is a silver ring just needs a, a little polishing I did not test this it's not as heavy I mean as big as it is if this was white gold it'd be really heavy all right so I know that's uh, stainless steel um, the rest of them are all just junk rings um, I was a little suspicious that might be um, like a gold twist wire but it doesn't test out as gold at all but this little pendant does it tests out at 10 karat gold guys 10 karat gold for this little tiny pendant I mean it is tiny okay anyways I got three quarters I got 11 dimes that is not a silver dime guys that is a clad dime eight nickels I killed it in nickels 15 pennies one of them Canadian two coins I have no idea uh, guys never throw these away you might think they're Zinkins they might surprise you I've been surprised over the years and a couple of spoons and a little bit of cannabis okay guys now it's time to select the winner of last week's would you dig it okay guys i have another would you dig it contest giveaway happening right now for a 25 dollar amazon gift card so i am in beach one all metal mode and let's go right over it let me go 90 degrees okay guys let's dig this one up there it is looks nice and goldy huh yeah even stamped 18k but it's brass so guys we don't have a winner of last week's would you dig it you know what that means we have a carryover nobody guessed gold-plated brass crucifix guys now i went through everybody's answers trying to find the right one there is a few that said copper or brass junk guys i didn't accept that as an answer even though it's brass but it didn't you can't consider that junk right now for a 50 dollars amazon gift card let's take a look at this one okay guys i have another would you dig it contest giveaway for a 50 dollar amazon gift card that we will select in next thursday's video and i got an item here i am in currently in park one i think you guys can see that i have it at 20 sensitivity and a lot of iron in this ground and i am in discrimination mode okay All right, I'm gonna go 90 degrees. Let's go one more over, it's getting windy. Okay, would you dig it? If you would dig it, comment below what you think it is and you'll have a chance to win a $50 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Thursday's video. All right, one more time, guys. All right, let's dig this one on up. Would you dig it? I dug it. Would you dig it? If you would dig it, comment below of what you think it is, and you'll have a chance to win a $50 Amazon gift card that we will select in next Thursday's video. And guys, this coming Sunday, early morning, I'm going to release another video. It's just a fun Sunday video. I uh, went to do a product review and a few things went wrong. It turned out to be a very fun day for me. And guys, I hope you watch as coming up on Sunday. And if you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing ringing this bell and receive all the notifications every time i release a new video and please take a look at either one of these videos i like this one right here <laughs>